99. Father, we thank you, O oh Lord, for giving us this opportunity to come before thee. At this hour, O oh Lord, Father, Matthew, we are praying for all our men, wherever they may be, O oh Lord, touch their hearts where they may be, O oh Lord. Let them have, Father Mighty, that love for you. Let them have the zeal, let them have the passion, O oh Lord, Father Mighty, to come online to study your word. Father, you give us everything and we owe you everything. You are Father, you are God. I desire, O oh Lord, Father Mighty, we surrender everything to you, BCD, in the name of Jesus, O oh Lord, to help us, O oh Lord, to be in relationship with you. Help us, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, Father, we pray. Amen. Amen. Pastor Pa? Is Pastor Pa there? Yeah, Pastor Rabo. Ah, Pastor Pa. Amen. How are you? I'm good, I'm good. Uh. Okay. So I want you to just give us an opening prayer so we can start. Okay. God bless you. God Amen. bless you. As we said, uh, just before we pray, I hope that uh, I don't know how many men on the line get your notebook. As we said last week, take note of um, a training we 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 will do it today is the beginning and at the end um there will be time for us to share individually that's why it's important for you to get your notebook when you come to the training for you to share individually what you really learned from the training that would be great we will be giving individual the chance to to i mean what really touched them what they learned and what they hope to apply in their life from the training. So God bless you, men of Zion. Let us pray. Father in heaven, we thank you. We bless your name, oh God. We are about to begin our training section. Lord, we claim, but it is you who direct it and bring it to pass. And today, Lord, after planning to start our training, the day has come and the hour has come. We thank you that you will give us understanding. We pray that you will reveal to our teacher tonight, Lord, that he will pour into us your word, your instructions. I thank you, O oh God, that we will not be listeners only, Lord, that we will be doers of your word. Thank you tonight. We give you everything, Lord. We turn it over to you, Jesus. You take the eminent. Thank you. Thank you for all those that are here, and thank you for those that are on their way, Lord. May we always be here so that Lord will be blessed through your word. We thank you. We pray for wisdom, we pray for understanding. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you so much, Pastor Pa. Thank you so much. Good evening. The, the Knights of Mount Zion Fellowship Church. We are really blessed tonight. So we're going to start our training, <clears throat> which is a very, very important aspect of uh, any ministry in the church. And for the mere fact that the men are taking this giant step to start today, it's, it, it, it's a good omen for, for our church and also we pray tonight that God will make us the, 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 the light of the world so, so, so that we, we can illuminate other ministries either in America, Sierra Leone, or in Ghana. So tonight Amen. we're going to start with our paper A1, which has already been published. It's an overview. We have to know exactly what what uh, it's a uh, main ministry about in the church how relevant it is is it a, a social club is it um a, 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 or, or what does it really mean so <clears throat> it's a kind of an overview we are where did we start how did we start and why manzayan fellowship church wants to, 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 to sort of pay more attention to the development of a main ministry so the overview, I said the main ministry <clears throat> at Mount Zion Fellowship Church in Bellsville, Maryland, has grown to be a very active and well-attended Christ-centered fellowship ministry and mission outreach. 
and this is due to a large measure to a solid balance of spiritual growth personal evangelism and mission work which we have already been witnessing in the church and it was encouraged and practiced by our spiritual leader pastor mana and few of his dedicated team of co-workers and that the typical example was last year when they went to wenchi the Coco and all these places they, they, they want so many souls for christ they they, they they planted the seed and the seeds are germinating so we are now striving to become a vibrant ministry to men and a ministry by men a vibrant ministry to men all over the world so that so that if we develop spiritually well here we will be able to influence all the main ministry in ghana we are which our uh, general overseer has already labored to go and plant all those seeds so our band of holy brothers main ministry provides a variety of opportunities for men to fellowship for men to learn and for men to serve god the focus is on building strong christ-centered trusting relationship while addressing the needs of men in maintaining and improving their work with god so in other words like uh, we had yesterday during the bible i mean during the sunday school we are we are to be for one another to cater for one another to love one another to be our brother's keeper and be able to guide other people to work with god so monthly worship rally is one of the things that we are going to adopt prayer breakfast small study sharing groups local and overseas work trips group outing and activities and special men conferences are just a few ways that men can get involved in this e dynamic ministry so, so which means that we have so much so much we can do and as time goes on our leader pastor pa will be opening the doors of all these activities that he has already mapped out for us so men who desire to lead to live a godly life must devote time and energy to knowing the father and to know each other it is not you cannot know you can be a godly man and refuse to have relationship with god you cannot be a godly man and fail to have uh, and refuse to have relationship with men who are also devout christians so as christian men we must choose to associate and fellowship with other christian men who will support who will encourage who will challenge uh, and strengthen us men need other men of god to help develop god-like character in their lives as we, we, we read in proverbs 27 17 it says as iron sharpens iron so one man sharpens another and this has always been the dream of our general overseer our general overseer does not believe in staying put in, in under under one uh, a roof under one church he wants to go out he wants to relate with every everybody he, he wants to have the dialogue with you and that is the attitude of god that, and that is the attitude of god 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 likes to have dialogue with people god dialogue with adam and eve god dialogue with isaiah god dialogue with every with, with every even with jeremiah the small jeremiah god dialogue with him and that's the same thing that pastor Mana does he dialogue with people he makes sure that he calls people that know they will not call me. He calls people dialogue with them. And that is what we should be doing. So our general overseer has been working tirelessly to project Mount Zion Fellowship Church as a good example of a main ministry that has successfully developed a balanced approach to a ministry and mission. Towards this end, he has entrusted this task to no other person other than Pastor Abba Pa and his team of committed stewards, namely Brother Joseph Tolley as General Secretary, Elder John Walker as Treasurer, Pastor Tufilos Lambo in charge of education on spiritual growth and leadership 
and Pastor James Minor, the general of Asia, will still remain, retain his position as our chaplain. And the areas of service to Christ in the vineyard are many, such as in planning. We have to plan. And our, 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 our pastor in charge, Pastor Pa, is already thinking about setting up an ad hoc committee for planning because the, the general overseer is now asking every ministry to submit their, their, their plan, their, their, their uh, 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 rules of events for next year. So, so, that, so, that, so that our, our, our Pastor Pal is already noting that down to set up an art committee for planning. And then also, we have another area that is communication. And we have the media team there, headed by, by Dickin uh, uh, Samuel Kamara, who is very, very capable. And our pastor, pa, pa, as I noted him too, then in healthcare, we have Dr. Osman Kagbo, in social welfare, and then fundraising. So those gifted to lead in such leadership ministries will be called upon whenever the needs arise for their contribution for the growth of the Christ kingdom. As we have resolved to strive to accomplish these essential ingredients, which we will jointly adopt, during our intercessory training meeting as our core principle. In other words, what I'm trying to say is, is that tonight we're going to, to, to decide what is going to be our, our core principles that we're going to follow religiously and hand over to the generations to come. And some of these ideas are the, are the, are the, are the ingredients that, that have been written tonight for success. One of them one of these core principles is Christ-centered ministry. Christ-centered ministry. And the second core principle is prayer and purpose-driven. The third one, led by called, motivated, and trained leaders. Four, open and relevant to all men with multiple entry points. Five, sustained by trusting relationships. Six, balance spiritual growth, outreach, and mission work. Seven, active, supportive pastors. Eight, where planned meetings. Nine, good communications. So we are going to come back to these uh, nine essential ingredients, which, which if we adopt it tonight, are going to be our core principle for, for men ministry to pursue. Now, it is our fervent desire an aspiration to make Mount Zion Fellowship Church a model of vibrant, growing ministry for men. Hence, we believe that the above ingredients are essential and that the spiritual growth element and the mission focus can be a winning combination for the men ministry in any of our churches in Sierra Leone, in Ghana, and hopefully in India and all parts of the world, regardless of size. So we are building foundations tonight. We are laying foundations tonight. We are, we will now be the, 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 the motivating force in, in, because one thing is, as we, as we have been watching the, the progress, the, 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 the rate at which the Manzanian Fellowship Church in Sierra Leone is growing and is going. I, 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 I cannot say we, we are beating them. They are well ahead of us. And so if we are going to, to lead them, it means that we have to double our own effort. We have to double our own participation, commitment and everything because these people are so committed. But I'm not sure whether they, they I don't know, I, I'm not sure they have already established their main ministry, but I think so. Because they have just celebrated their women ministry. So, so, which means that they must have main ministry. But how dynamic, how organized they are, I don't know. And the same thing goes for Ghana. And for us to lead them, it means that we have to, to redouble our own effort. We have to be very serious. So, our training program, as has been announced and long awaited, will be starting tonight, by God's grace. We have spent the past two years praying for main ministry meaning every single man in Manzayo Fellowship Church. 
for spiritual awakening, for passion, for zeal for Christ, and for liberation from spiritual lethargy. And what do we mean by that spiritual lethargy? Sometimes we, 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 we are just at home, we are not doing anything. But when did that time comes for us to come to Bible study or to come to the intercessory prayer line, we say, I forget, or I oversleep, or any of those things. It, that it doesn't show seriousness at all, because one thing is, if you are really serious, if, if anything is happening at 8.30, set your alarm clock to 7.45, to, I mean to 8.15. As exactly at 8.15, your alarm clock will start to ring and you know, so definitely I have an appointment. What kind of appointment? I must fellowship with my men. And so, so, so that, that you have 15 minutes to, to, to round up what you are doing and, and get yourself ready to join your mates. The 15 minutes, the 30 minutes, the one hour you spend with Jesus Christ or with God, it's nothing, it's nothing compared with what he has done for you. He gave you the whole 24 hours a day. He gave you your life. And beside the fact that you, you, you have fellowship with your fellow uh, uh, men of God does not mean that you are idle or you are, you are wasting your time. Because by the time you realize it, you've gained more than you think, more than you want to know. So, so that is what we are saying, that the spiritual lethargy and it's a deliberate act in which you just decide not to be interested in something because you say tomorrow is still there but there's no tomorrow for anybody everybody is living by grace every time we go to bed at night we, nobody is sure that it's going to wake up in the morning so that when you wake up in the morning it's the beginning of a new dawn a beginning of another day a beginning of another life for you and that is why we must not waste any opportunity. So you can take a camel to the stream, but you cannot force a camel to drink. No matter how much we preach, no matter how much we appeal, no matter how much we do, there are some people that will still want more encouragement. So many churches have come down today, many churches, not really, not actually closed down, but they, they spiritually they are they are spiritually bankrupt. They have lost focus. They don't even know why they are going to church. Either for for social so, I mean, to, to, to socialize. They don't know. They have come down. Since the beginning of this COVID nineteen pandemic lockdown, but for us in Mount Zion Fellowship Church, instead of instead of the COVID nineteen having an adverse effect on us. It has been a blessing to us. We have accomplished more during this pandemic than we accomplished without pandemic. And it has brought us into a new awareness using the same weapon of Satan, which is here to corrupt the psychic of many people of little faith. Satan is a spirit. And it's roaming about the whole world. It's using the television, it's using the radio, it's using the phone, it's using everything to corrupt the minds of people. But fortunately for us, God has given us that spiritual gift to be able to use the same weapon now, to come together. Our, 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 our message on Sunday are streamed, not only to members of the church, but all over the world, through YouTube, through Facebook. And then the was up also, we were able to make the best. There are a lot of churches that don't even know that they can use the words up for communicating. And we are using all these weapons to better our lives. So we are making progress. So in our own case, we have taken advantage of, of air to set up different methods of communicating and relating with one another. Technology has brought us all closer together and has made it possible to reach out and to bring the gospel of Jesus Christ into our homes and onto the world. So one of our spiritual benefits during this trying period is the opportunity for all men to be able to come together and study to be men after God's own heart and good ambassadors for Christ and better men equipped with wisdom with knowledge 
and with the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. Through training, through joint fellowship, and discussion under the canopy of the Holy Spirit. So no one really needs to plead with any man or any saint. If you see yourself as a saint, if you think you are a saint, we don't need to plead with you. To avail yourself of this opportunity, since you are not called to drive out of your house, it's not the, the winter season is coming. We are not going to call you to drive through this, uh, out in the snow. But which I did, I, I was, I, I didn't have any car, I had to come out in the snow, walk in the snow to attend Bible study. Throughout the whole year, I never miss any Bible study, snow or rain or anything. Because we didn't have what's up. We didn't have anything. All this idea of what's up started during this uh, pandemic. For the, past, for, uh, for the past two years, we didn't have what's up. So we are very, very fortunate. We are very, very, very fortunate. We are blessed. So that, so that one of the spiritual benefits during this trying period is the opportunity for all men to be able to come together and study, to be men after God's own heart and good ambassadors for Christ, and better men equipped with wisdom, with knowledge, and with the sword of the Spirit, through training, through joint fellowship, through group discussion under the canopy of the Holy Spirit. So, we are appealing to everybody today that we can just spend one hour of the time that God has borrowed us, has given to us, to have relationship with Him. And the church is ours. As many fellow brothers out there, they crave for such opportunities, but no one to give it to them. Our brothers are in, in India. They cry to Pastor Mana, come over to Macedonia and help us. We have so many people. They are hungry for the, for the, for the bread of life. They are thirsty for the spring of the Holy Spirit, but nobody. The harvest is full, but the, the, the laborers are, are the, the, the harvest is full, the laborers are few. And, and that's that the clarion call to all of us tonight, all the men. It's a clarion call to come to Macedonia and help us. So every Monday we shall meet, and then from 8.30 to 9.15, and then we leave. So, and then 15 minutes for, for, for any question. And then, uh, so, so what we're going to do is, uh, if there's any, 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 any group thing we're going to discuss, I will post it before the, before the meeting so that people can read it, people can take notes so that when we are now going through it together, it will be easy for me only to be talking. But the one that I think I will just continue, I will just play. So now, the first thing we're going to do tonight before we progress, uh, let, <clears throat> let me finish first. Now, now, lastly, during this training period, we are appealing to all to try and keep our WhatsApp medium of communication free from any form of information or post or related to our training documents, as they are some of the ways Satan uses to distract our attention and interest in focusing and growing spiritually. I think our general Vasya has mentioned it to us before, that whenever we post anything containing to uh, something that is of joint interest, we must try as much as possible not to counteract it. It's as if to say we are competing with ourselves and a house divided cannot stand. So we must never post anything <clears throat> to give other people the opportunity to be able to do to see it and read it. But by the time we now post junk, 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 it then, then whatever, uh, something of a common interest will lose its focus, will lose its interest. So we are begging people to please leave that in, 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 uh, for, for this period of our training. And then, then we want everybody to be free to raise any question or any topic for discussion. We have to try and to reach out, which is very important, to one another 
through phone calls to fellowship Christian brothers, encouraging and reminding them to come online for the study. Apostle Paul he said, he said freely, freely you get, freely you give. Don't come alone to benefit from the Holy Spirit. Invite your brother. Don't assume that they must know. Don't assume that it has already been published to the to the a uh, 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 group forum. Call them. I've been trying to call Emmanuel Tolly. I call his wife. The wife said he doesn't know where he is. I try to call him, and I've, I've, I've already called so many people to, to make sure that they are online tonight. I wouldn't say because the, the information has already been posted. Then, then, then it's up to them. No, it's not up to them. I am also my brother keeper. So we have to try and reach out to one another through phone calls to fellowship, I mean to fellow uh, Christian brothers, encouraging and reminding them to come online for this study. And this is how we can all grow spiritually together as some need that extra push and encouragement. So now, before, before we start asking questions, the we 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 we, we, we say that um, we have as we, we will resolve to accomplish these essential ingredients which we will jointly adopt as our a, a, as our core principle core principle means what we are going to to start working upon what we are going to to to, to take as as our, our as our goal what we want to accomplish that, that 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 are going to be our guide our our guiding principles that we can live for the for the next generation to come so one of them is there are nine one of them is christ-centered ministry and what do you mean by that we have two type of ministry one is christ-centered ministry and the other one is man-centered ministry in christ-centered ministry Jesus Christ is the head of the church. And every argument, every wisdom, every theory is supported by the scripture. So that so that we are not we, we are not building our own our own ministry on on, 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 the, on the foundation of men wisdom, but of putting Christ first to guide us. So that so that so that our main ministry is going to be Christ centered ministry. Then number two, prayer and purpose driven. In other words, we're going to lay emphasis. We're going to we, we, prayer is going to be our 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 will of progress. So 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 so, so, that, so that it's not going to be faith based alone, but but it's going to be a prayer a prayer based ministry in which one of our 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 chief weapon will be on the power of prayer. So, so that our purpose will be driven by prayer, which we have already been doing anyway. And then number three, led by called, motivated and trained leaders. In other words, our ministry is not going to be led on, on, on face appearance, but on people that God has, 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 has uh, anointed to lead us. And that was what exactly uh, God told uh, Prophet Samuel when he was in the in the house of Jesse to anoint another king. Jesse brought all his uh, his first his all his children. They are all big men, Eliab uh, and all this. And, and 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 Prophet Samuel saw them say, Ah, this is the man after God. And God said, No. He said, no, I've rejected. He said, because he said, men look at the face, but God looks at the heart. So that our ministry, and all the leaders that our pastor power will be, uh, will be, will, will be, will be uh, uh, um, depending upon to lead us, will be motivated and they'll be trained leaders. Then number four, open and relevant to all men with multiple entry points. Our main ministry is not going to be a cult. It is not going to be a closed shop. It is not going to be a trade union. 
is going to be an open ministry where all men are welcomed. So, so in other words, we're going to have an, uh, uh, an, uh, uh, an attitude of tolerance, an attitude of hospitality, an attitude of endurance, an uh, uh, attitude of togetherness, so that we're going to embrace one another and help one another to grow spiritually. And when we are in need, we will be free to approach one another in confidence that whatever I ask, I will get that sympathetic response from them. Because there are some ministries that, 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 that if you don't have this, you cannot be a member of that ministry. If you don't have that, you cannot be a, a member of that ministry. They snub you because you are not important. But in our ministry that we are performing under Pastor Pa, everybody is going to be relevant. And then number five, sustain by trusting relationship. Sustain by trusting relationship. In other words, we, we will have a relationship with one another in which we are our brother's keepers. I don't have to be your biological brother before I can seek help from you. I don't have to be your in-law before, be, be, before I can relate with you. And as long as you are my brother in Christ, under the canopy of the Holy Spirit of Men Ministry, Man Zion Fellowship Church, you are my brother, you are, you are my relative, you are my father, you are my son, you are my everything. I can relate with you. And then balance, number six, balance, spiritual growth, outreach, and mission work. So we have to be able to balance all this together. Spiritual growth. Spiritual growth comes through faith. And faith comes through hearing. And hearing comes by attending the Bible study class and also by, by, by attending the small groups which Pastor Paul is now going to start organizing because Pastor Mana loves that kind of small group, small group. And that was how he started his ministry, by small, small groups. He's not bothered about having a church of 1 million or 1,000 people. But those small, small, small groups are the ones that metaphorize into large group. So, so we've got to have spiritual growth. So we've got to have outreach. And that outreach, that outreach is what they are already, already doing every Saturday. They are reaching out to people. And the time is going to come because of this pandemic, it was not easy for us where we are distributing the food to preach to people because we have to remove the mask and, and, and we don't want anybody to say we, we, we bought coronavirus today when we are distributing food. So, so that we just restricted it to any, to just giving them the food and then we, we just uh, and say, God bless you. Except any, anybody that wants prayer. But after the pandemic, you can now talk with them like the Jehovah Witness would do. You can relate with them. So that's what we're going to have out. And the, the mission work, the mission work is what uh, is really in the mind of our general overseer to go, to go out, to go to Africa, uh, to, to, to go to unrich, uh, on church areas where Christianity has not even reached at all, to plant the seed. But it is not in planting the seed alone, but, but what about in, 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 in watering it? If you plant the seed and, and, and you move, somebody has to water it. Somebody has to, and we believe that God is going to nurture, but you have to water it. You have to follow up. And this is where it depends upon us to follow up. And how can we follow up? We can follow up through our money. Because money is the will of is the will of progress of, of of the gospel. Without money, there's no gas, no petrol. The gospel cannot move. So if we cannot travel to Ghana, if we cannot travel to Sierra Leone, our, our money can go there. So so that's mission work. And then number seven, active supportive pastors. Active supportive pastors. So so which means that. The job that has been given to Pastor Pa is not on, on the shoulder of Pastor Pa alone. But Pastor Pa should always also count on the support and active participation of all the pastors, Pastor Lambo, Pastor Harvey, and anybody else 
and all the deacon and all the elders. Because when you say pastors, we are also including the elders. So it's not Pastor Pa alone that is going to shoulder the responsibility. He's counting on all of us. The number eight, where plant meetings. Where plant meetings. So we are not going to restrict ourselves only to Mondays alone. Where, where, where we really start uh, moving, flowing. Pastor Pa will organize meetings, 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 meetings. Where we can meet. And we just we continue to pray that this pandemic will be over. So, so, that, so that we can meet. In my own residence here, we have a community hall that we can meet free of charge. No, no, nobody's going to charge us. And it's able to, to, to take 50 people, 100 people. We can meet there free of charge. So, so that we're going to have that opportunity. It's not, it's not a question of going to the Ghana club to go and eat banku that I'm talking about. Because by, when you go to that place to go and eat banku and everything, you don't meet, you don't discuss anything spiritual at all. But we are now saying that plant meetings, we can be, all the men can just decide maybe one Saturday to go to a, a park where we, we, we have our, our, our picnic park with us sandwiches and everything and the men go there we sat down under a tree or anywhere we communicate we come in we do we read the bible we teach ourselves we spend two hours three hours together we gain a lot it's not organizing a big picnic no so these are the type of meetings we are talking about which the the planning committee under when when, when pastor Pat set it up we organize for us and then good communication, good communication is very, very important. And that is why we are counting on the media team, taking camera for good communication. So, my fellow brothers, these are the nine, the nine uh, 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 listed essential for success. It has already been posted in the in the in the group was up we have discussed it tonight i want you to, to go through it uh, to, uh, after so that when we come back on monday then we can now decide whether we want to adopt it as our as our core principles and then we then uh, as once we adopt it then we start working on them to make sure that we accomplish what we have already we all, all of us have jointly agreed to work upon Christ-centered ministry, prayer and purpose driven, led by called, motivated and trained leaders, open and relevant to all men with multiple entry points, sustained by trusted relationship, balanced spiritual growth, outreach and mission work, active supportive pastors, where planned meetings and then good communication. So that's so that I want you to go through it. It's already on the words up and, and the, the, what is going to stand you in, 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 in a better chance is print them out so that that's why i've already in, included also in, in in addition to to, to uh, posting it the word the word form i also put them under this so, so that you can open it and then print them out once you print them out they open a file so you have your own file and then, then you start building a, a library for yourself on the main because there, a lot of things are coming for us to discuss. And this is very, very important for you to do. So this is 9.15. Is there any, any question? Pastor Pa. Hey, uh, thank you so much, Pastor Lambo. What an overview. What the... Uh, Excellent beginning, but let's just open it. Anybody want to just say something before we? If you have anything that Pastor Lambo talk about, you don't understand. I noted some down, and he already, as he said, he got it on the WhatsApp. You can go there, open that document, print it out. It will be good for all of us to read. He's giving us the the relevance of the main ministry, our principle, you know, um, 
these things are very important for all of us. So it will be so important for us to go through these documents and read them, go in depth. Uh, if you have any questions, that would be great. As I said, as the training is going on, just as Pastor Lambo said, the communication aspect is very important. If you read in, if you have your individual time, and you don't understand something, one good thing about Pastor Lambo, he is available. And now some of us are basically working. I say I can be out there working when I call him. Do you have some time? It's absolutely at that time. Let's talk, you know. So Pastor Lambo is available at any time. Anything you don't understand. I just hope anybody got something to say. Um, we got now almost nine fifteen, which is our study time. We don't want to keep us long. That's exactly how we want to do it. So long we take ten, thirty to thirty-five minutes to talk to us, and then we'll have the few minutes to discuss. Does anybody get something to say? Any contribution? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Of course. Um, not a question, it's just like adding to what he said, uh, posting the material beforehand so we can have time to at least discuss a little bit because having an insight into the material, uh, that would go a long way. That's so right. That's it, right. It, it doesn't feel like a moral of, you know, at least we will have time to interact because these are sensitive areas you just made mention of. That's right. And it's really good. Like um, one thing that um, I grabbed this night um, is um, the area of we you know, checking on one another. Uh, I want to believe right. uh, if you remember, there's something that I've been standing by um, during the concept of this pandemic that uh, we always need to check on one another before even um, now we were uh, passed off. Salute, you know, passed off. So that again is just more emphasis on it. Um, we have to be one skipper, you know, we have to be care for one another. Yeah, so thank you so much, Pastor Lambo. Thank you. Um, what an awesome teaching. Yeah. Thank you, Brother Tari. Thank you for your contribution. Anybody else? Hello, Bank. Do you uh, do you have like uh, the people that lock on you know like you can know the number of people present? Um, for yeah, well, it doesn't it doesn't show up. Uh, when we used to use the, the app, the general yeah. app, it shows. But this one, except someone announced. Can we do the roll call? Yeah, we can. Can we do the roll call? We need to do that. We we want to really have record of the attendance. Okay, very I have you, Pastor Paul. I have right. Pastor Lambo, Pawaka. Yeah, I have you already. Well, I think is I have you. Is that David there? Yes, sir. Okay, the Okay, okay great. So that would be great. I want you to let it keep your eye on that. We want to make sure that our. Uh, so, uh, Better said, I have, and I said, yeah, I'm here. All right. Uh, Pastor House said you're going to be there, but you'll be on mute. I want to on mute. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, what's your, uh, the Usman? Yeah, I'm on the phone. Oh, okay. God bless you. God bless you. So, do we, do we oh. adopt these principles tonight, or we leave it to next week? Or you or people want to have opportunity to go through them for us, the night the night core principles. Yeah, yeah, the night will be that we will have the time to go through that as uh, just uh, for me I was taking note and okay. uh, I was really touched on one of the aspects of the you know Okay, we leave it we, so we, we leave it for we leave it for adoption next week, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, okay. we'll leave it for next week. We want to go through everything. Okay, that's fine. And then next we will come and then we can adopt a guiding principle for the main ministry. And, and the, on the paper... 
Lamo talk about artist support and participation. Yeah. It's very, very, very important because many times people want to live with the leadership alone or this person is supposed to do it. No. When it's at your reach and you can lay hand on it, go forward. It's, this is all about Christ. It's not about any individual, as I always say. Whatever is at your reach, if you can communicate, oh, that's the power, I think, oh, this thing needs to be done. It should not only be left with the leadership. That's why God brought us together as a ministry to support one another, to participate. So these are very important. So, Pastor Lambo, thank you. We'll go through them. Yeah. And then we'll come back on next week. And then we can adapt them as our guiding principle. That's what the training is all about. That's right. And I want to appeal, yeah. I want to appeal yeah. to... Pastor Paul? Yes. Yeah, hello. Hello. Um, I'm on the line. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. 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 Uh, on number two, prayer and the driven purpose, okay? I just want to appeal to everyone on the line and those who are, uh, you know, not on the line, that um, to take on a mission trip is not easy. Um, so I just want to let everybody know that uh, we, sh we should remember um, as, as at manner the mission trip next week. And uh, I think we all know the week tomorrow they will be living. And um, we must continue to pray for them. Uh, especially last year was different, but this year typically is very tough. Uh, mm -hmm. Coronavirus, you know, which are over everywhere. So uh, we are in a mix of uh, deadly disease and uh, People traveling in and out, and that's all. And I think we, you know, I, I just want to say we should support them 100% of our prayers. Wherever that we are, just remember them. In the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, and even at night, let's remember them because they're going to a very deep place, uh, you know. And um, but we all know God will protect them. But we serve need to consciously pray for them. So I just wanted to put that out there. So the men on the line, uh, just continue to pray for the mission trip next week. Thank you. And I Amen. want to, thank you. And I want to appeal to our men in the, in the uh, next paper, which I've already also posted, there are so many Bible uh, reference passages there and um, if we are going to ask also be opening the bible to see them we will not even be able to go through one tenth of it so i want to appeal to our members to go again go through the whole thing open the the, the your bible and read them note them down what i have done in my own case was to type out the I mean to just extract the the Bible passages from the from from the from the computer and then I, I just uh, uh, just store them in, so that so that I have a whole list of um, of these Bible Bible passages which I found very 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 nourishing spiritually nourishing so that so that so that I've already posted the whole thing to you. All you need to do is go through them with your Bible and start opening all these passages, open these passages, de de design your own way, how you want to save them, how you want to, to, to compile them, so that by the time we start discussing them on Monday, it, it will be easy for you to follow, it will be easy for you 
when, when uh, the, uh, the argument is on one line and it is supported with, with the scripture uh, passage, you will know exactly what it is talking about. So, so all the, all, and, and there are so many, and that is why it's giving us a whole week before Monday to be able to go through them with your Bible and line them down and keep them. So, so that is the P I'm just making for you. So that, so that because this paper two, paper two is very, very important, and and it's almost about five, six or seven pages. So, so which means that we may not even finish it on Monday, but but we don't want to go back again after we have treated one. We don't want to go back again, and that is why it is very important that we too we have to do our homework, like part like the secretary has said, uh, uh, Brother Joseph. He said, print them out. So I've already given you, and then I want everybody to, to work on them, study them before coming on Monday. Thank you so much. Amen. Amen. God bless you. God bless you, Pastor Lambo. We, we thank you so much. Uh, I think we have out of town now, so we're going to give only a few minutes for prayer time. Uh, just so uh, may hear our communication of um, the main, uh, there was a, a, a brother that was coming, that, uh, in the Ghana brother that was coming. I don't know if anybody I wanted to talk to Pastor Manny last Sunday about that. I saw seeing him for two Sunday nights. He said he was going to be with us. I don't know if you can remember the brother who was, uh, Pastor Lama always said with you right there. I That's know, I know. I will, communicate. I will get his number. I will get this number from Pastor Mana. Very good. Let's mm -hmm. follow up. And if anybody knows the word about uh, Pastor Watson also, sorry, I, I, I know I will call him too. Him. I will call him Pastor too. Pastor Yeah. I mean, let me internally start that first. If you, if we start to communicate, you can see your brother try to find out what's happening. That is you true. Know, then we start to reach out. Charity begins at, at home. home. That is true. You see, if you cannot check on your brother, who are you in the same church? How do you extend that to the outside? That is so they are just the brothers. Uh, I want if and we will let us all communicate and see and get to them and and, and find out what it what is it and you know yeah, start to uh, encourage. Pastor uh, Bar, uh, yes. Just adding to that again, what you said just uh, also drew my attention to um, a brother, um, Sister Catherine's husband, who of course yeah. during the, the beginning of the pandemic, you know, he lost, I think his I think his mother also, yeah. Okay, but so, like uh, myself and Pastor Mana we discussed and then we are like I'm trying to see how we can mobilize people to go there just I don't think anything was done was that. Okay. Um, yeah, so we, we, we actually need to be sensitive about the issues because I want to believe the church is a community. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Uh, like That's when good. we uh, did a uh, film on, you know, something like that, you lost a we were there, it was so wonderful. That's right. Yeah. I will get in touch with him too. Not money alone, you know, but to go there, you know, be a part. That's or true. call, you know, call, because we are in a pandemic, just call, pick up the phone. That's why we, uh, let, 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 or such, like that, you know, if you know the person, you, you lost sight, you know, just put the number on there and then we can, right. you know, you can all try to reach out to the brother. That's true. Yeah, it's yeah. Brother Musa. Brother yeah. Musa, yeah. yeah. All right, so if you can get the number because you know we are independent, you can just... Okay, great, wonderful, wonderful. All right, so God bless you, men of Zion. Thank you so much for massively attending the, the, the beginning of this uh, very important topic. I will rule how important the men ministry is to the work of God, of Christ and to ministry. If you don't take anything from this training tonight, remember Christ is Christ center. It's not about anybody. It's all about Christ. And so God bless you. We're going to have a little 
I want a two minute to pray for a few things. Let's remember Pastor Manny and the mission trip. I will be going to uh, Sierra Leone. The back then, our prayer will all know the challenges um, during the mission trip to Ghana. Uh, the devil was fighting, but God prevailed. So let's continue to pray for this trip. It's very, very important. And let us let us back our trainers with prayer that God will lead us. Give us wisdom and give us understanding. Let us pray together at the end. We'll ask our elder Oben will close us tonight. God bless you. Don't forget mm -hmm. to open that document and read all the scriptures Pastor Lambo talked about so that we'll get our hand on it before Monday and then we can go faster. Let us pray tonight. Let us remember the mission trip. Let us uh, remember our brothers and sisters, Pastor Watson, the brothers. As a wife saying, um, uh, the brother there, I, I just don't know his name. He Edward. To be part of the church. And Let's Edward too. Him. Yeah. Brother Freeman also. Brother Edward. And, um, yeah, Brother Edward, that's right. Yeah. And brother Edward also, I have not seen him too. And let us remember our Brother Jonathan too, you know, I've not yeah. seen him for a while too. Let us pray. And Brother Augustine. Yeah. Augustine. Right. Let us let us pray at the end. And Oben will close us with a final prayer. Let us pray together a few minutes. Father, Father in heaven, we thank you tonight. We thank you, Lord God, for for the name we have to God. We thank you for Father. We lift all our members before the Lord. We thank you, 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 Father Mighty, Father, your character, O Lord, we bring our members, O Lord, to the city and lay our Jesus' hold to give them, O Lord, the freedom, the opportunity, the time, the city, to be able to approach the Lord. Father, we intercede, O Lord, for all of our men, we intercede, O Lord, for our family, for the call of our pastor, Alex Watson. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. For and our own ministry will be empowered. And together we can move the ministry. Together we can move the mission. Together we can move the church. Together we can move the children of God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We bless your name. Thank you for what you have done. Let it open. God bless you. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for tonight. What a wonderful night. Yes, Lord. And it's yes. Lord. Well done. This is a new day. This is a refreshing day. Amen. Yes, Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. We have come together with a commitment, mm. with the knowledgeable, with oh, one spirit, one mind, going and moving forward. Yes, and Lord. Lord. Tonight is a wonderful night. This is the night you have made for us, and it's called Start Afresh. Yes, Lord. No ministry will start out fresh, but it's Lord. based on your kingdom, based on your wisdom, your power, your strength, and energy. It's what we're starting tonight. Mm. Start out fresh. But thank we thank you, you for bringing great men tonight thank to you, start Lord. out fresh for your kingdom, a commitment starting tonight. We thank you. Lord, if we did not thank you, and we'll be most grateful. And this is why we take this opportunity to thank you, to say, Lord, we thank you. Thank you, Lord. Because Hallelujah. the men's ministry have come a very long way. We've come a very long way. And tonight it shows 
that you, the Lord, you are still the Lord. Okay. You are also God, your faithful God. Okay, Jesus. And we will continue to follow you. Okay, Jesus. Mm. But I, I pray for Pastor Lambo. Okay, Give him a long life, wisdom. Okay, Empower him okay, and all okay. the men and the leaders in charge of this ministry. Lord, I thank you. thank you. I entrust every life on this line here unto you, my Lord, my God. Thank you. And Lord, I pray tonight that as we come back next week, yes, Lord. It'll be more it'll be greater than this. It'll be better than this. More fresh anointing ideas. Great ideas that comes from you, my Lord, my God. We thank you. We bless you. Bless each and everyone on this line, on this line here tonight. And bless those who are unable to come for whatever reasons are. But I continue to bless, continue to lift your men because we are the pillars of the ministry, the Mount Zion Fellowship Ministry. We cannot fall behind because the other ministries are watching us. The other ministries are depending on us. The other ministries are watching us. Lord, give us wisdom. The kind of wisdom that you gave to Solomon. Anoint each and every one. The kind of anointment that you gave to David. Give us courage and confidence. The kind of confidence and courage that you gave to Daniel. I pray that you gave all the or give it to us, each and every one of here. I thank you and I bless you. I bless your holy name. And we'll come back and meet next Monday. I thank you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray tonight. Amen. 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 Can we share Amen. the grace? Can we share the grace? Can we share the prayer? Our grace. No. May the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and the love of God and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest remain and abide with us all now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. All the days of our lives. And we shall be in the house of the Lord forever and forever. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Good night. God bless you all. Osma, calling you shortly.